how to make social media templates in canva hey guys welcome back in this video i'll show you guys how you can get started with building social media templates in canva now a lot of people might ask hey canva already has templates why am i supposed to make my own well there are quite a few different reasons for that and that's because now everyone is using canva templates i see some templates that are basically the same on multiple different brands so if i go on to instagram post and i take a look at some of the templates over here all of these templates are going to be used by other brands and if you use a template that is super common it can instead of looking like a distinctive template make you look like a you know copy paste brand and that is not a brand identity we are looking for so building your own template can help you bring more of a customized style a cohesive brand appearance and a unique element to your posts so let's get into building our own social media templates now. In this tutorial, I'm going to be making a Instagram post. So we're just going to search on over here for Instagram and I'm going to go for a square post. Now, this is 1080p. You can just click on create design on the top right and enter your size or just click on create a blank Instagram post. Now, it can be super overwhelming for people to see ah it's just a white screen what do i add to it so first off you're going to think of the type of post you're looking to create is this going to be a product post is this going to be a general post is this going to be maybe skincare advice is this going to be anything else so one thing i like to do to just ease my nerves a bit is just to click on the canvas then click on the background color and i just select one color now, what this helps me do is that this helps me see, you know, a better idea, see that it's not going to be that difficult to fill out this canvas. Now, once you do that, you can get started with building your canvas. So first, I'm going to build a simple skincare advice, um, you know, daily tips board. So for that, the first thing I'm going to do is go into elements and then I'm going to search for frame over here. Then I'm going to go into graphics and there are a bunch of different graphics available. So I'm going to take this one over here. Maybe I'm just going to expand it like so, or maybe I want to take, you know, something like a note. I'm just going to search for note over here or sticky note, whatever you want instead. And I'm going to go into the graphics section and then I'm going to take this one. I think this looks better with the type of thing I'm trying to write. So I'm just going to expand this over here. Then I'm going to select my background color again and I'm going to click on the photo colors. So I'm just going to take a lighter version like this and then i'm just going to add this over here and then after that let's say i want to rotate this a little or i'm going to rotate it to the other side a little and once i do that i can go on ahead and add some text so for that i'm going to click on text on the left panel and then i'm going to click on add title now for this i'm just going to add skincare advice or skincare tips number and then i'm just gonna add zero zero so whichever one that i'm writing you know the number can be inserted now from here i'm going to format my text so i can click on my text over here and there are a bunch of different you know text fonts available so i can just choose whichever one i like now i'm gonna go with something a bit rounded so it looks softer and I'm just going to search for some nice templates so absolutely sharp. I think I'm going to go with this one over here. Now, after I've selected my text, I can go ahead and add, you know, uppercase or lowercase. I think I'm going to keep it in the normal alignment. And then we have the basic alignments on the top. So we have a list spacing. And I can go into spacing and I can choose my letter spacing. So if I want to expand that a little, then my line spacing really doesn't matter. And then we have the anchor text box as well. So I want to maybe increase my letter spacing a bit to just, you know, give it like a really bulky feel, or, you know, a expanded feel like this. So I'm just going to insert that. 
and then I'm going to increase the size of this and decrease the rotation a little on this as well. Now, once I've done that, what I'm going to do, or I'm just going to rotate it to the other side, like this a little bit like this. And then after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some text over here. I'm going to format it in the same font and I'm going to keep the letter spacing to a normal element and what i'm going to do is that i'm going to add tip here and then what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to place it over here so let's say i want to keep this at a centered alignment i can do that and then i'm going to increase the text box to where i want my um, text to expand to so i don't have to customize that every time and then i'm also going to rotate the text slightly because the box is rotated so i want the appearance to be you know visually have the same weight and i'm just going to increase the size over here like so now from here what i'm going to do is i'm going to add some more framing elements i can go into um, the elements section over here and then i'm just going to search for maybe serum and then in the graphics section, I am going to just take this graphic over here, decrease the size a little, and then we are going to add this element over here. And I'm going to remove the other one. It looks a bit much. I'm just going to add this one. And then I'm going to go on ahead, go into elements, click on see all on shapes. And then what I'm going to do uh, I can't find a empty square, so I'm just going to take this square over here and we are going to select the color and then the outline is going to be, I'm just going to add a border weight like this and then I can add rounded corners, but I want to still corner and like this. I will have like a hollow square, so I'm just going to expand this and I'm just going to place it in a place like so. Now I'm just going to make sure that I center this, making sure everything is nice and centered. Now I can click on the color. So I'm going to go into my um, background colors and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the outline color to be like a slightly darker version or maybe I'm going to convert it into like a pinker color like this one. And then I'm going to make it slightly darker then what i'm going to do is if it's overlapping with any elements make sure to click on these three dots click on layer and then click on send to back and then i'm going to click on the top right and once i click on these three dots i can adjust the transparency so i'm just gonna adjust it so it's like a very subtle little box over here and then just like that we have our template ready now to be able to use this template you can click on share on the top right and then you're going to click on more from here you can scroll down and you have a bunch of different options you can just leave it as it is or you can just search for your brand template you're going to find it in your more options or you can just copy a template link so you can copy a template link create template link and then you can just share this design and anyone with the link can use this template and just like that you have an amazing template ready now i can click on add page over here and start designing a unique template for maybe my um for something like my brand or something else so let's say i want to design maybe for our product so for a product based template you can just search for frame over here and you're going to take a square frame like this and then what you're going to do is you're going to expand it to maybe the size of your canvas then what you are going to do is that you're going to rotate this so I'm just going to rotate this first so it's a little easier for you guys to see. So it's rotated to precisely 45 degrees, not 45. Rotate this or double it in size. It's totally up to you. And you can increase the size over here. And I'm going to re-rotate this because I think I'm going to keep it straight. I don't like the other way it looks. I can just increase the size over here so we're gonna do that like so and you can add you know two overlapping images like this of the same product now you can make this smaller obviously so 
so the product is displayed a bit more so let's say the product is maybe makeup and then we're gonna go into photos and i'll just use any sample product to show you guys so let's say it's this one and i'm just gonna place it into the frame and i would be using the same image and then in the center you can place a circular frame that's going to display your entire product so i just like to insert that and just place that in the center and go into my images once more and then i'll just display the entire products like this and then you can you know insert any text or florals on the sides as well and in this way you can have multiple different social media templates with canva so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe